you know, I think um, the truth is, in in the 23 years that I've been uh, in recovery, I've I've bitten off more and more and more, you know, and things come up as we're capable of dealing with them, you know. Uh, it, it's it's the the layers of the onion kind of where we get to really look at who we are if we want to, and it's I I I believe it's a prerequisite to getting any kind of contentment. Now I have been in recovery. I have been, uh, you know, uh, that's what somebody said when I got in here. They said you're going to get to do sober everything you did drunk or stoned, and what he was saying was basically drugs and alcohol aren't the problem. You are. So you better, you better change who you are, otherwise you're going to be doing a lot of that stuff that you were doing when you were using. And that's the truth. Um, I haven't done everything I did drunk or stone, but I've done a lot of nasty stuff in recovery. Um, you know, and and I, I have some wreckage from that. And I've had to deal with those things as they come up. And um, I only change when I get into, you know, when I get uncomfortable enough that I have to. Um, or when these things that used to work for me stop working. And they all stop working eventually. If you're on a spiritual path, um, I think the rules change. And uh, it, it doesn't become about you know, the, you know, what, what many of us have to worry about in the world, which is you know, money, property, and prestige, and the kinds of things, just getting, you know, getting food on the table and those kinds of things, although those things we have to deal with. With with, be, with someone like myself and others who are who have this illness, if we don't address those issues, those underlying issues, I'm going to get uncomfortable enough so that I'm going to probably pick up again. And so my focus has to be a little bit different than what I might what I might focus on if I didn't have this. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, somebody who's a diabetic or who has hypertension has to, has to uh, direct their life with their illness in mind. And they have to do certain things. They can't eat certain things, they have to work, you know. It's the same thing with this. This is, addiction is a chronic brain disease. Um, there are aspects of this illness that need to be addressed and they need to be considered in, in, in terms of carrying on in one's life. Many people out there in society figure, once you put the drugs and alcohol away, it's a done deal. And that's not the case. It's just not the case, in my experience. Um, so uh, today, you know, Joseph Campbell said the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. And I am so grateful uh, in my recovery for the, for, the, for the gift of finding out who I am. I, I thought it was about, you know, I wanted to be Tom Cruise, I wanted this, I wanted that. I, you know, I've gotten uh, lots of interesting things in my recovery, but the greatest gift I've gotten is to find out who I am.